Mr. Marby is um, multifarious in his application of um, Doppler. What I um, you essentially listen to, you know, there's the lies of his religion having its titles. It's uh, I am the Freemason Grand Poobah, and and you know, and then you listen to his talk. About uh, and that's that's a fucking junkie. That's a fucking junkie. And he can do things like assist a tooth decay with the same sort of radio that he can <clears throat> um, in a fiction book get to a fictional psych business in a, in another fiction book about that fiction book. So, you know, if he can find drug user who's a smoker, he doesn't like. It's one of his, um, the, his, his class of businessmen who, um, aren't, aren't, dis, aren't, you know, hatred of, of communion and things like that. Think, and, and thinking, well, I'm having you, you for breakfast. Um, yeah, they can irradi irradiate the roots of teeth. Um, so he, he winds up teaching you all this by, uh, well then again, when you're not, when you're not given a contract, you, uh, there's no, you, you're relying on indirect, indirect ways of been, been taught things. But um, either way, he's mistaken because it's a, his every ethical judgment stems out of religious discrimination. That's the most important factor. Um, yeah, because he knows the questions are simple enough to palm on to others. Why do? You, uh, why wouldn't you think all this? That all this tooth decay. Look at how much of a smoker. So, uh, why wouldn't you look at all the party drugs that they've done? What would you expect? No, so, so, no, 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 no. Um, but he is doing what he can with all his tech. To make sure that it seems that uh, you know the the illegal drugs be made even even more illegal, illegal in, within the spirit of of the of every man and woman and child, or um, uh, while it, sorry while at the same time pharmaceuticals uh, get the applause and like cool. Oh, this was what it took for us to survive over. And then they'll, then they'll amend evolution and go, yeah, actually, you're probably right. Like, these opium, epinephrine, and cocaine plants, I, d I doubt they even existed when we were monkeys. I think that when we were monkeys, there would have been, like... I mean, you look at the bonobo, and you look at how intelligent the bonobo is. Why couldn't they have even built the first pharmacy? And be like, yeah, they probably did build the first pharmacies, and they probably also tried to uh, illegalize drugs to the bonobos. Like, like, have you seen the bonobos? Nature? Are the bonobos that aren't in their in, in their in their family or or their tribe or or a prospective mate? There's no there's no gain. The bonobo just has the empathy. So like. You know, maybe they had no idea about biz inter pharmacy business competi competition. Um, like in the way that there's a pharmacy guild now to unify um, Canberra's pharmacies. But uh, the bonobos could have built a, pharma a pharmacy chain, uh, they could have synthesized medicines, and they could have, um, you know. Uh, they could have had um, 
Medical. In, uh, in a 9-11, you find that uh, all, all keyboards, computer keyboards are destroyed and blown apart. And so do these passports just sitting on a pile. And the passport is uh, um, to a, to indicate um, a, a, a hijack of pilot's identity. And the, and the passport hasn't um, copped so much as a, a scorch on the corner of one of its pages. The, the passport's completely intact. And they're like, I wonder who the guy was that flew that hijack. He's like, oh, here on top, atop this pile of rubbish, here's his passport. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, you know. Back when they back when those oh, monkeys and bonobos, I reckon bonobos would have started pharmacies, illegalized drugs, had Medicare cards. But if you think about it now, if someone could plant a passport on a pile of rubbish from um, a building that has collapsed from, and there's debates about if it's controlled demolition or related to a plane and no one building goes down that didn't have received the impact by a plane and the structural designers are all arguing that the buildings are made to withstand m multiple plane crashes. But um, regardless, like, if, if here and in, in, in here and now someone can just plant an unscathed and undamaged intact passport atop a pile of rubble and rubbish from from 9-11, um, why can't there be a bunch of undiscovered Medicare cards now that the bonobos were issuing when they opened the first pharmacy group? Like, they might have only had one pharmacy group, but um, they pro I'm sure they would ban every... They'd probably ban banned, uh, banned all that horror, uh, evil opium, ban all the cocaine, ban all the epinephrine... Uh, you know, uh, they weren't just mon monkeying about. Um, uh, so if you if you if you think that they wouldn't have known how to hide their Medicare cards, okay, fucking think again. <laughs>